Hi guys, today we have a video on how to start working from home. A lot of you guys have emailed me and sent me messages on my Facebook group asking me how to start working from home. They have doubts like, I don't know where to start or what niche to start working in, how to choose a niche, how to start working from home. There are so many options and I'm confused. I don't know what's best for me. There are so many doubts when it comes to working from home and in this video we are going to discuss how you can start working from home the right way so you decide on a work from home job that is suitable for you that is profitable for you and you start the right way so you can start making money from home or making money online as soon as possible so stay tuned with me watch this entire video because i'm going to give out a lot of courses a lot of resources a lot of them are free of cost and a step-by-step -step action plan for you to understand how you can start working from home right away. So let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am Chavi, the owner of Mrs. Daco Studio, a blog to find various work from home options and various ways of making money from home or making money online. So if you are interested in regular videos on how to start making from home legitimately, then do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to hit the bell icon so you are updated every time a new video is uploaded so you do not miss out any chance of making money from home. Before we go on to talk about the various steps that you need to take before you start working from home and deciding how to start working from home, there are a few things that I want to discuss. The first one is what are work from home jobs? What is working from home in general? A lot of you have confusions. A lot of you think when I say work from home, you are looking for data entry jobs or you're looking for transcription jobs while a lot of others are thinking about freelancing or an online business. When I say work from home, there are two ways of doing it. The first one is to take up freelancing or become an online entrepreneur a solopreneur or start an online business. The second one is to get a remote shop or a work from home job with a single company. Now people often tend to confuse between the two of them so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail for both of them. So when we talk about freelancing or owning an online business we are talking about providing a service to multiple clients in exchange for a fee. Now that is how you make money. You are providing a service to a client and you are charging for it. It could be anything. It could be a website designing, logo designing, social media marketing, Pinterest marketing, writing, copy editing, proofreading. There are so many services that you can provide in your freelancing business or your online business. Now you need to understand that when I talk about online business or freelancing business, it is completely, completely service oriented. Now, there are other ways to make money from home and start a work from home business, which is not service oriented, but we are not going to deal with them right now in this video. If you are interested in knowing about those kind of um, online businesses that do not require any services, you can go ahead and check this blog post, which talks about various and multiple ways of making money from home without offering a service. The second one is to get a remote job or a work from home job with a company. Now it is just like your nine to five job or your day job. The only difference is that you are going to be working from home or you're going to be working remotely. So it is just like your day job. You have those hours, you have to work nine to five, but you will be working in the comforts of your house. So if you are interested in work from home jobs and getting a remote job with the company, I'm not going to deal with that in this video, but you can check this video out, which talks about various work from home uh, companies that are hiring right now. To sum it up in one sentence, if you have an online business, you are going to be, if you have an online business, you are going to work with multiple clients and not a single company. But if you have a remote job, you will be treated as an employee and you will be working with a single company. So I hope you understand that there is a difference between owning an online business and getting a remote job. In this video, we are going to talk about how to start working from home and build your online business. The second question I want to deal with is who hires freelancers or who hires the people like us who have online businesses that offers a service. Now, 
if I have to cover that up in one sentence, that every other business can hire a freelancer. It could be a small business, a big business, a startup. It could be an online business or a brick and mortar business. It could be some business which is right next door to your house. It could be anyone who can hire you for getting things done. It depends upon what services you're offering and how much you're charging. So why do people, why do online businesses and why do businesses hire freelancers? So there are a few um, reasons for it. So the first one is generally the budget constraints. So a lot of time, new businesses, startups, or even big businesses do not want to spend that much money on hiring an agency or hiring um, a complete employee for that kind of work. So in that situation, they generally prefer hiring a freelancer who can get the job done and you have to pay them only one time fee. So a lot of businesses prefer hiring freelancers these days because it helps them cut down the cost of getting work done. The second reason is generally because you don't have to deal with any payroll problems. When you are hiring an employee, it comes with a lot of cost. You have to arrange for the perks. There is an entire cost to the company which involves cost of the seating, cost of the computer they're going to work with, coffee, tea, a lot of things in the entire day that you spend on a single employee. But, for, but with freelancers and independent contractors, that cost is cut down to zero. You do not have to pay for them. You do not have to spend a, a penny on their seating, their computers, their tools, services, etc. As a freelancer, as a person who owns an online business, you are an independent contractor and you are responsible for dealing with all the costs yourself and not the client that you're going to be working with. The second reason of hiring freelancers is basically to get talent from across the globe. When people are looking for employees, they're looking for somebody who can come to their workplace and work nine to five. So you're so you are limited to the talent that is available locally. But when you look at a freelancer, you can hire them across the globe, anywhere in this world, and you can utilize their talent to, to your benefit. So that is why nowadays businesses prefer hiring freelancers over employees. The bigger your geographic location is for hiring, the more, the, the better talent that you can hire. Third reason of hiring freelancers is you can let them go if you do not need them. As a freelancer, it obviously gets difficult, but for a business, it is very easy. So you get you onboard a freelancer when you want to get some work done and you cancel the contract and when that work is done or when you do not need them. So it basically comes down to saving a lot of money when you're hiring a freelancer over an employee. The next thing that I want to deal with is a why you should think about starting your own online business. By now, you have already understood that companies prefer freelancers over employees for budget constraints, for talents for a lot of other reasons. Now, the first and foremost thing that I want to talk about is how profitable an online business is. By now, if you have watched this entire video, you know that companies prefer hiring freelancers over employees in many, many situations. So you can take advantage of this position and charge a lot of money for a certain amount of work. Now, for example, a content writer who works with the company may not earn a lot of money. But if you are freelancing and if you are promising results like SEO or social shares, then you can charge as much as $100 for an article or $200 or even $250 for an article. When I started out as a freelance writer, I started with 10 cents a word and for every article that I have ever written, I have made more than $100 or at least $100 I'll give you another example. A few days back, I was looking out to hire for managing my Pinterest account. Now, the Pinterest manager that I'm thinking of hiring charges $450 for a month. Now, you may think it is extremely less, but if you know anything about Pinterest and managing Pinterest, you know that it's going to take at max two to three hours in a week to manage a client's Pinterest account. So overall, you are putting in 10 hours of work in a month and you are earning $450 to $500 for that. And that is a good amount of money. So if you have more than two, three clients, you actually make a decent income from being a Pinterest manager. So, you know, it is an extremely profitable. Uh, so online businesses are extremely profitable if you choose the right services to offer, if you upskill yourself. And if you can drive results for the client, which is a difficult task, but it is not impossible. You have to be invested 
in the business and you have to be ready to learn which i'm pretty sure that you are the third benefit of starting your own online business are the flexible hours so if you are a mom with kids who do not get enough time or if you have health concerns and you cannot go out and work or if you just want to work from home and quit your 9 to 5 then online business is the answer to it because it is profitable it can help you on a full time income and it comes with flexible hours you can have your own schedule you can decide to work only on the weekends you can decide to work only at night or only a few hours in a day it will all work out the last benefit of starting an online business is that it is it is extremely scalable so you can start right now only with you but as you grow you can hire people to work for you when you start doing this when you start subcontracting you can take on more clients and the more clients you take the more money you can make i have known people i have read about people who have scaled from being a solopreneur to starting their own agency and now they have over 10 employees or 19 or 20 employees and they earn millions and millions of dollars in a year of course it will take a lot of time to get there but if you are interested if you decide to scale it then there is a possibility that you can scale your service based online business but if you decide to be a solopreneur you can still earn a lot of money with it you can still earn a part time income like $1000 or $2000 to a full time income like $10000 or $20000 all you need to do is to decide a profitable service to offer put work into finding clients learn a lot of skills learn a lot of um, services and offer them and give your best to give client an experience that they cannot have anywhere else you want to give them results you have to basically give them reasons to keep hiring you again and again and for a longer term so let's start talking about the steps that you need to take to start working from home so your first step is going to write down all the skills and interests that you have you can take help of your friends and family members and ask them about what kind of skills do they think you have or what kind of things that you're good at you know your interests so write down jot down all your skills and all your interests on one piece of paper now take your time and be thorough with this you do not want to miss out on anything and you do not want to think that oh i'm not good enough for this or i'm not good enough for that i think i am good with talking but i'm not that great so i'm not sure if i can monetize it i can write but i don't know if i can sell or if i can convince somebody to hire me etc you know those kind of negative thoughts i don't want you to have them i want you to be confident i want you to just write down all your skills all your interests on one piece of paper don't be judgmental do not think that you're not good at anything if you think if that strikes your mind if a thought strikes your mind if, then write that down you have to remember that if you have a skill you can always hone it you can always invest in yourself you can take courses take trainings and learn as you go you can always always refine your skills but so don't be judgmental and write down all the skills and interests that comes into your mind the second step is to write down all your experiences now these can be job experiences or any experience that you have working in a job so when i say job i am not referring to only 9 to 5 jobs that have paid you but i am also talking about jobs like when you teach your kids or when you took that event in your college or when you decided to um, host a party or anything like that so i want you to remember that you have a skill and everything you do in your life requires a skill and you have it so for example if you're teaching your kids then you can basically teach you're basically good with management you're good with explaining and you can simplify things for kids so there are a lot of skills behind that if you are um if you hosted a party then you know time management you know how to manage an event you know how to talk to vendors how to get the best prices how to get the best rates what kind of menus you need to um prepare you have a lot of skills that go into hosting a party or to teach a kid or to just manage kids you know what i'm getting at right so there are a lot of skills a lot of experiences experiences that you have in your life and not just 9 to 5 so i want you want you to think about all of those experiences and jot down the skills that you have again don't be judgmental if you think this is too small to have or to to be included in the list of your experiences you're wrong nothing is too small or too menial to be included in this list be as thorough as possible if you can think of 100 things even better do it so that is why i am telling you take your time to go through these two steps 
when you are thinking about your interests, your skills and your experiences, I want you to be as thorough as possible and I don't want you to be restricted to only the mainstream definition of experiences, hobbies, interests and skills. Next step is to merge all of these together. So now you have a lot of information about yourself. I'm pretty sure a lot of you also found things that you never knew you had because it has happened with me. It has happened to people I know of. Okay, it happens. So it's a good thing. That means you have, you're on the right track and you have taken the time that I wanted you to take to write down those things. So now merge all of it together. You can do it on an Excel sheet and, or if you are a notebook pen kind of a person, then maybe do that. Do whatever is comfortable for you and merge, it, merge all the information together. You have skills, interests and experiences now. You basically know what you're good at and what you're interested in. Now I want you to go to this blog post which is showing up top. It is a list of work from home jobs that you can take up. It has listed over 50 online businesses that you can start right now and make real cash. So I want you to go check that out. Check out the options and the skills that are required in the option. I have talked about them and write down the ones you like. So let's take an example to understand this better. So let's say that um, after this entire um, after this entire journey of writing down your interests, skills, hobbies, experiences, etc., you decide that you have no skills. That can happen. I know a lot of people, even though I keep telling them, don't be judgmental about your skills and experiences, people do get judgmental about them and they do not write them. So you basically le are left with, I have no skills. But you want to work from home. You basically go through the list of work from home jobs that you can see up top and see if there is something that you would like to do or can do. So generally for the people who have no skills, I advise them to check out virtual assistant jobs. Virtual assistant is somebody who helps an online business virtually and they can help them with a variety of um, tasks. In fact, you can provide more than 150 plus services as a virtual assistant and you can again see the list up top to check out those 150 services that I'm talking about. Go through that list, see what are the services that you can offer. You will be surprised with what you come across and what kind of skills can be monetized, including talking to people over the phone, travel bookings, calendar management, phone, um, phone schedules, etc. Everything can be monetized. You just don't know about it yet. So go check out that 150 plus services and see um, if there is any service that you can or are willing to provide. People who have written down certain skills you're already a step ahead. You can check the list of the work from home jobs, see what interests you, or you can grab the 150 plus list of services and see what are the kind of services you want to offer or want to learn or can offer right away. So let's talk about it a little bit more. I'll tell you about my experience. When I decided I wanted to start working from home, I did this entire process that I'm sharing with you. So I sat down, I wrote down my interests, hobbies and experiences. As a law school graduate, I knew that um, I, I wrote a lot of reports and papers and articles that are published in various journals. I knew my writing is good and I'm, I knew that I am good at researching. So freelance writing was an obvious choice. And besides freelance writing, I also decided to take up blogging. I do freelance writing and blogging full time and it has been a great journey. I want that for you. Now, if you ask me about how much money I make, so I'm going to be honest with you. During the best months of a year, which are very few, but there are, I make over $7,000 in a month. While for a bad month or a decent month, I would make somewhere around $1,000, $1,500 or $2,000 or maybe a little bit more. It depends a lot, about, lot on the seasons that are going on, whether something is um, in demand right now or not. For example, um, at the end of the year, the last quarter of the year is generally not great for the freelance writing services. People are on a holiday. People are taking leaves for Thanksgiving. Um, people do not work in December. So you do not find clients across the globe. Similarly, for blogging, the last quarter is actually the most profitable. It is when people are ready to spend a lot of money on buying products because it's Black Friday. People are actually investing a lot of money in um, on gifts for Diwali, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, a lot of things. People are willing to spend in the last quarter. So for blogging, it becomes a profitable quarter, but for freelance writing, it does not. So it depends a lot, a lot on what season it is, what month it is, and how much effort you're putting into it. 
we are not going to talk about blogging in this video because blogging is not a service based business it is a different sort of a business um and you can acquire the skills of making money from blogging now if you are interested in knowing how to start blogging for money or how i make money blogging or if you want to know how to start making money freelance writing then fill out the poll that you can see on the video right now and let me know um i will make these videos and i would love to share the process of how to get where i am today so getting back to um the steps that we were talking about there are certain tips that i want you to follow be thorough be as thorough as possible i have already told you this and i'm going to keep telling you this in, in the entire video be as thorough as possible and be and don't be judgmental ask your friends and family for help in understanding your strengths and weaknesses research the work from home opportunities in detail you have to take time you cannot rush through this and be true to yourself you yourself know what skill you have and what skill you don't have now if you know that you are not good in english then it is better to skip over proofreading and freelance writing but if you know that you are great with attention to detail and your english language is good maybe then you should go ahead with writing proofreading transcriptions etc you know what skills you have and what you are capable of doing so be true to yourself and do not set unrealistic goals because if you do that you are going to be disappointed at every step of the way get your um expectations right a lot of people look at these videos read blog posts and think oh i can do proofreading and earn 40000 dollars in a year or i can start freelance writing and earn 20000 dollars or 2000 dollars 3000 dollars in a month you can definitely you can but it's not going to happen right away you need to put in a lot of efforts and you need to upskill yourself okay so get your expectations right final tip that i want to share with you is to get into the right mindset now i want you to get out of the mindset of begging for money or uh, um i am not worth this money to i own a business now it makes a hell lot of a difference when you start behaving like a business owner clients start treating you better and it's from my experience trust me when i say that you you need to start looking at yourself as a business owner and demand what you're worth if you do not do that if you do not get out of that employee mind mindset you cannot run an online business again to sum it up be thorough with the exercise don't be judgmental ask your friends for help research your work from home options properly be true to yourself get into the get into the online business owner mindset and get your expectations at the right place okay so now you have gone through the list you have taken your time to figure out what are the work from home options now what to do i want you to select at least three services that you're willing to offer when i started out i decided to offer freelance writing services search engine optimization services with those articles and blogging so these were the three things i was ready to do ready to learn and ready to offer so i want you to do exactly the same thing i want you to figure out what are these three things that you are willing to do right away next step is to look for resources beyond youtube videos and beyond blog posts now i'm talking about a lot of free online resources and trainings that a lot of business owners offer now i know it is a very difficult task to find legitimate free online courses so i have made the task easy for you you can grab it right here you will have to sign up with your name and email address to get it to get access to it so if you want all the work done right away grab it here right now it has all the free resources courses and training that you need to do take up if you are interested in any of those 50 work from home job listings that you saw in the blog post so what i want you to do is to figure out the free course that is relevant to you and sign up for it now free courses give you a detailed overview of what you can do or cannot do it gives you enough information of what to expect out of that service based online business so for example if you are taking a free course on freelance writing then it will give you an idea about what is expected out of you and what are skills that are required and what you need to do to make money from that um work from home job so they can help you organize your thoughts and actions in one place so don't forget and grab it here but there is something i want to share with you about free resources and courses they can only give you so much information and they cannot help you at every step of the way it's free so 
you do not get all the information. The actual media part of how to start a particular online business is generally behind the paid courses. And the actual part that is walked by that online, online business owner and the actual things that you need to do. So I do recommend you to invest in yourself and get yourself a course at this point because it will help you make the entire process faster and it will cut down the time uh, to actually make it a profitable online business. But I know a lot of you are running on a budget and uh, you may not be ready to spend a lot of money on these courses. I have something for you. If you have a small budget or if you do not, if you're not willing to spend a lot of money right away, then you can grab this profitable work from home kit right now. Okay, so before we go any further, I want you to, I want to introduce this work from home kit that we have put together to help you out, to help you launch your work from home business. Now, this work from home guide is actually best for beginners that have no experience, for anybody who wants to quit their day job or their 9 to 5 job and anybody who wants to build another income stream or somebody who wants to live a flexible and a free life. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you're interested in working from home, you are in one of these categories. And if you want to launch a profitable business right from the start, this kit can really help you out. This work from home kit includes the exact formula that I have used to grow my income to thousands of dollars as a writer and as a blogger. This ultimate work at home starter kit can really help you out. It can help you go from minimum wage, low wage or no jobs to a full time income from home. It can help you build a side hustle which can substantially add to your family income. It can help you get past the most difficult step of starting out and analyzing options and deciding what is the best for you. It can, help, it can also help you make decisions on how you can start working from home and make money as soon as possible. It can help you drive a clear strategy and a step-by-step -step plan of action to launch your profitable business in the next four weeks. It can help you find and manage your time and be 100% sure and 100% ready to go all in. It is a jam-packed 50 pages of information that can help you set goals, finding the best option, managing your time, marketing, planning, onboarding, finding clients, creating an offer, analyzing competition, and so much more. And it also comes with so many bonuses that can help you ease the path of launching your profitable business. It, it has a list of business tools, list of free resources, list of Facebook groups where entrepreneurs hang out, where freelancers and online business owners hang out so you can get support. It has pitching templates, how-to guides, time management bundle with amazing planners and amazing strategies to help you manage time. It has a proposal template and how-to guide and so much more. Now, you can take months and months or maybe years or maybe a few days depending upon how much work you can put into it and how smart you are to figure out the secrets of working from home or you can take this shortcut, buy this work from home kit and start the right way right now follow the steps that i have followed to make thousands of dollars in a month this workbook and all the bonuses that come along with it is all you need to unlock the secrets and launch a business that is profitable right from the start you can channelize time money resources into things that are most most relevant meaning there is no loss no risk and no fear it is a tested and a tried way to achieve success with your side hustle so I would say grab your copy right now. You can find the link up top. You can also find the link in the description box, the box below. And if you have doubts, you can always write to me at chavi at mrsdakustudio.com. Again, if you do not want to spend anything right now, you can grab all these free resources and courses up top. Sign up with them. Take a few days to consume the information because there is a lot of it to consume. And I don't want you to get overwhelmed at any point in this process step that I want you to take is to test the waters and get a feel of the work. So go to platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, create your profile and start offering services. Take a week to figure out how those platforms work and get a client and start working for them. See how it feels to offer that service and what is expected out of you as a freelancer. You can also go onto Facebook groups for entrepreneurs and offer your services for free. Now, you don't have to offer your services for free forever. I want you to get two or three clients you can work with for free and test out the services that you're willing to provide. You need to get some feel of it. You need to uh, deal with a dummy client before you actually start um, 
offering your services to a real client it can help you it can help you gain confidence and it can also help you get testimonials which which are basically social proofs that can help you land better clients in the future you can also ask your family members or friends who have a business if you can help them with any service or you can ask small businesses in and around you if they will be willing to uh, let you work with them for free or in exchange of a small fee so for example you can go to a um, you can go to a clothing store or a boutique near your house and ask them if you can create social media profiles for them and maybe um promote them a little bit and help them manage a facebook group or their facebook page etc depends upon what kind of services you're offering look at the businesses around you and see if you can get a client right away even if you have to do it for free take it right now because it will help you boost confidence it will help you understand the work and it will help you land better clients in the future now that you know your skills you know what to do you have taken those free courses and you have enough information you have tested it out and you like doing it now is the plan that you take a step back and create a detailed plan on how to launch your work from home business i know it sounds too much but it is not if you have reached to this point then you can definitely own an online business and you're made out made for it now creating a launch plan is an entire video in itself and do let me know in the comments if you want me to do this and i would be happy to make one for you now launching your own business and the steps that you need to take include a variety of tasks it would include deciding the offers creating packages deciding on rates creating a small website marketing yourself landing your first client onboarding them pitching them and so much so much more now all this is covered in the profitable work from home guide that i was talking about earlier it is a very small investment for the amount of information you are going to have in that In fact I know it is the only product at that at that price range which gives out so much information about how to plan and how to start working from home the right way and make and start making money within a few weeks so do check it out you can check the link here it is something i highly recommend and it is something that is going to help you and it is an extremely affordable product so that is all for today this is the entire process of how you can start working from home and launch your own profitable online business if this video helped you out in any way in helping in the decision making process or helped you in creating a launch plan for your own online business please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel also do not forget to hit the bell icon below so you are updated every time a new video is uploaded about working from home and making money online thank you and see you next time